Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about narcissism and how to deal with it using some cool ideas from Marcus Aurelius Stoicism. So, what's a narcissist? Well, they're people who think they're super important, always need attention and don't really care about how others feel. But what if we could make them face their own flaws and insecurities? Let's see how we can do that. But first, let's talk about Stoicism. It's an old philosophy that teaches us to control ourselves, be good people, and stay strong when things get tough. Marcus Aurelius, a famous Stoic philosopher, believed in accepting things we can't change, focusing on what we can control, and finding peace within ourselves. By using these ideas, we can outsmart the narcissist and take back control. With desperate indifference, the first way to torture a narcissist is through indifference. Narcissists thrive on attention and validation from others, so withholding this can be extremely painful for them. By showing complete indifference towards the narcissist, they are left feeling unseen and unimportant, which goes against their need for constant admiration. This can lead to feelings of insecurity and worthlessness, causing them to become desperate for attention and approval. Indifference can also be a powerful way to undermine the narcissist's sense of superiority and control. When they are met with indifference, they are no longer able to manipulate or dominate others to get what they want. This can cause them to lash out in frustration or resort to extreme measures to regain the attention and admiration they crave. By remaining indifferent, one can effectively strip the narcissist of their power and disrupt their inflated sense of self-importance. In conclusion, indifference can be a potent tool for torturing a narcissist. It deprives them of the attention and validation they so desperately desire, leaving them feeling vulnerable and insecure. By remaining indifferent, one can undermine the narcissist's control and superiority, forcing them to confront their own insecurities and weaknesses. Ultimately, indifference can serve as a powerful means of challenging and breaking down the toxic behaviors of a narcissist. Way to reverse manipulation. The second way to torture a narcissist is through reverse manipulation. Narcissists are known for their manipulative behavior and constant need for admiration and control. By using reverse manipulation, the victim can turn the tables and manipulate the narcissist instead. This can be a powerful tactic in dealing with a narcissist, as it puts them in a vulnerable position and disrupts their sense of power and control. One way to reverse manipulate a narcissist is to play on their need for validation and admiration. By withholding praise and attention, the victim can create insecurity and doubt in the narcissist, making them question their own worth and importance. This can be particularly effective in breaking down the narcissist's inflated ego and sense of entitlement, forcing them to confront their own insecurities and vulnerabilities. Another way to torture a narcissist through reverse manipulation is to mirror their behavior back at them. For example, if the narcissist is constantly belittling and criticizing others, the victim can turn the tables and criticize the narcissist in the same way. This can be a powerful tool in showing the narcissist how it feels to be on the receiving end of their hurtful behavior forcing them to confront their own flaws and shortcomings. Ultimately, reverse manipulation can be a powerful tool for dealing with the narcissist and breaking free from their toxic influence. Way 3. Setting Boundaries Narcissists thrive on manipulating and controlling others to get their way. By setting firm boundaries and sticking to them, you are taking away their power and control over you. This can be a powerful way to torture a narcissist, as they are not used to being told no or having their behavior restricted in any way. Setting boundaries can include things like not allowing them to invade your personal space, refusing to engage in their manipulative games, and standing up for yourself when they try to put you down. 
By setting firm boundaries, you are showing the narcissist that you will not be a victim of their toxic behavior. You are taking away their power and showing them that their actions are not acceptable. While it may be challenging to set boundaries with a narcissist, it is important to prioritize your own well-being and not allow them to continue to manipulate and control you. By setting firm boundaries, you are asserting your own autonomy and sending a strong message to the narcissist that their behavior will not be tolerated. Way 4. Self-Reflection Torturing a narcissist can be a tricky and delicate process as their inflated sense of self and lack of empathy can make them resistant to criticism or confrontation. One effective way to torment a narcissist is through self-reflection and personal growth. By focusing on one's own emotions, strengths and weaknesses, a narcissist may be forced to confront their own flaws and insecurities, causing them intense discomfort and distress. This strategy exploits the narcissist's deep-seated fear of being seen as imperfect or vulnerable, ultimately leading them to question their own superiority and self-image. Self-reflection can also serve as a powerful tool for exposing a narcissist's hypocrisy and double standards. By setting a positive example of self-awareness and humility, one can highlight the narcissist's own lack of genuine introspection and honesty. This can cause the narcissist to feel exposed and threatened as they are confronted with their own facade of perfection and invincibility. Ultimately, the narcissist may be tormented by the realization that their inflated ego is built on a foundation of lies and deception further undermining their sense of self-worth and superiority. In conclusion, while confronting a narcissist directly may prove challenging and ineffective, using self-reflection and personal growth as a form of torture can be a powerful and subtle way to challenge their narcissistic tendencies. By focusing on one's own emotional well-being and authenticity, one can expose the narcissist's own insecurities and weaknesses leading them to question their own delusions of grandeur and superiority. In this way, self-reflection can serve as a potent weapon against the narcissist's ego, ultimately causing them great discomfort and distress. In conclusion, by applying the principles of stoicism and embracing these four powerful ways to torture the narcissist, we can take back control of our lives and turn the tables on those who seek to manipulate and control us. Remember, true power lies in our ability to remain calm, focused and resilient in the face of adversity. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to sharing more insights and wisdom with you in the future. Stay strong, stay empowered, and always remember that you hold the key to your own happiness and fulfillment. Until next time, take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content on psychology, philosophy, and personal growth. Follow us on social media for updates and behind-the-scenes content. Thank you for your support, and remember to stay true to yourself and never let anyone dim your light. Goodbye.